Okay, so the next bit is soldering the um, the black the, the the back plate for the tender. And this guy goes in here, and according to the instructions, this is going to slide all the way to the back. This part has to touch the curve, and um, you solder along these two tabs here once it's in place. And concerning the height, this this upright fold that has to be level with the top. Of, um, of the tender sides. So it's going to go all the way back to the tender sides here. So um, what I'm going to do first of all is uh, clean up the tabs and um, the areas of the side where um, this is going to be coming in because I'm going to clean it up with um, the fiber brush, put it in place and secure it somehow <laughs> And uh, and um, so it's going to be in two phases really. I think I'm going to use the solder paste to solder the 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 the, the tabs in place against the side, and then um, we'll use the flux to uh, seal the rest of the plate. Just give this a go here, though, like this, other side, just to clear. And then along the top here about here I think just clean up this whole thing so that's about it there okay uh, that one's done might just give this a going over as well do the tabs with the uh, 188 when I take the solder paint, but the fillets along the top, I'm going to be using. I'll try and I'm going to use a try a lower temp temperature solder. That's the 145. So hopefully this one, the, the the tabs won't come loose then. Okay, so this is the setup that I'm going to be using. Okay, just got a bit of wood by this clip, and I've set him out. It's just about right now here. And what I'll do for the getting it parallel, I'll just move it up and I'm going to be working on this side first. So that, this should be come out okay. Once it's level with the top, once it's level with the top like this. And I'll join the soldering, I'll press it on like this. I'll, and then we'll solder these tabs. First the one side and then the other. Okay, we're about right. Let's uh, see if we can solder this up. The one side. Check. Yeah. Oh, damn. Shit. Out. I heard something crack during the middle of that, so perhaps another part of it has uh, opened up. Very difficult this. Okay, I'm going to crack on straight away with the other side. It's cooled off a bit, I mean to say. I'm going to crack on with the other side. Let it cool off. That's uh Gone okay. Okay, so we've done the tabs. So now we're going to put a fillet of solder through here and there and there, and we're going to use 145. So hopefully this solder will will melt before the solder from the back plate. 
So we'll give that a go. Start by fluxing it all up. Plenty of flux in there. Okay, there's a flux. So I'll put a little bit in there, in that corner. And a bit there. Let's have a look. Okay, I'll have to put a little bit more there as well. Looks like there's a bit of a gap there. I hope the solder will go over the gap. Let's take it, let's have a look, see if this will work. Let's have a look. That looks okay. Don't know about this. It's got it there, but not really there. There, oh, it's got it there as well. Might have to put a bit more on there. I'm not sure at all. Wait till it cools down, then we'll have another look. It's quite a large gap there, unfortunately. So I hope we can uh, fill that gap. Off camera I just soldered up uh, a little bit, it took a little while, but I've now got a good seal of solder all along here now. So now it's a question of uh, cleaning it up, get the baking uh, soda on there to uh, get rid of all the acids, excess acids, and, uh, and then we can move on to the front one. Just go over it again with the baking powder. Neutralize any acids, and then once that's done, get it right in the corner there. I think what we'll do then is um, rinse it in with some water, and then we'll move on to the front. We'll clean it up and everything later once the whole thing's done. So we're now going to move on to the front plate from the tender body. We're going to mount this guy. These are holes for a radio control switch there at the bottom. The tab is facing inwards. To get the right position here there's a description by, by in, in the instructions from Roundhouse that you have to sort of line it up with um, the inside of the rivet line here and so on that's been uh, etched into the outside there um, and also I don't know whether you can see that I'll bring it up close see if you can see that there is get it in focus just there there is a guideline etched into the bottom of the tender and so you have to put it in get it vertical uh, and line with that tender but sorry, in line with that etching mark, and then you you should be right. However, um, I think what is actually more important is to make sure that when the coal load is in, because the coal load rests on these tabs, that there's no gap and that it actually fits. So 
I'm just going to put it roughly in place. And there's about the guideline, and it's roughly vertical. And um, I'm just going to put the coal in. And uh, so that's supposed to go like that. And ho and behold, it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to put it in so it should be about there. What I want to do, just to make sure that this is right, there, with that one, and I'll get a pen, a marker pen, and just mark it there. Turn the whole thing around, and do the same with the other side, about here. Okay, using the the coal insert as a guide, I'm just holding it with my fingers, I haven't clamped it up yet. This is where the front plate will be, and looking at the side here, it's just about parallel, this one as well. But look, um, there's the guide line, and that's where the plate is. There's the guide line, it's a difference is about half a centimetre, that's something to watch out for, but I'm going to stick with this. It's not actually a critical measurement, I don't think. So I'm going to crack on. What I'm going to do now is um, prepare the surfaces of um, the side of the tender and the tab, and then we're going to solder it up. So uh, I'll do that off, ca off camera, and I'll get back to you when I'm doing the soldering. Don't know whether you guys have saw that. Let this cool down and I'll turn it round. Crack on with the other one now. Okay, it's cooled off a bit now. Joints are good. So I'm just going to clean them up. side and all get all the worst of the crud off now and then get in there with the baking soda other side So we'll give that um, a rinse and um, the main part of fitting the body together is, uh, the tender body together is done. Um, later on I'll be cleaning all this up, don't know whether we're doing that on camera or off, or off camera, but um, this was just something to do with the locomotive uh, in between uh, running it in, running the, the, the locomotive in itself. I've only had two sessions, oh, sorry, I've only run it in forwards and backwards twice at the, at the moment. I need to get some more sessions under my belt because I want to finish off the chassis as, as soon as I can. And that'll be, uh, that'll be that out of the way then. So, that's it for the tender body for now. Thanks for watching and uh, until next time.